Why do you think that uh, Truman has never come close to discovering the true nature of his world until now? We accept the reality of the world with which we're presented. It's as simple as that. We will make America great again. When The Truman Show, directed by Peter Weir and written by Andrew Nichol, premiered in June 1998, it looked a piece of satirical science fiction. After all, who would believe a 24-7 live feed show starring an unaware protagonist filmed by 5,000 hidden cameras in an entirely staged world? It's the, Truman show. the film quickly became sci-fi as prophecy, jump-starting television's now dominant genre, the oxymoronically titled reality TV. Though largely unscripted and touting spontaneous human interaction, and now reveal the Strictly Come Dancing champions. And now. reality TV trumps documentary through its blatant and increasing manipulation and artificiality. The style of The Truman Show's show has been copied by numerous hit programs. What a week it's been. I don't know about you, I was on pins and needles the entire time. It even helped normalize tropes previously only seen in underground art or gallery installations, changing perceptions of what modern viewers will readily watch. I did not have relations with those Russians. <laughs> More tellingly, Truman Burbank's stardom foreshadowed reality TV's turning of ordinary people into celebrities. Yes! Let's go! But where Truman's is a cult of unwitting personality, it also looked ahead to the phenomenon of using the famous Cook it or f*** off. Yes, sir. Pull shampoo you down. It sounded like two three-year-olds who've got flu trying to sing. Or infamous to front these shows. Truman is essentially famous for being someone, rather than doing something. Mama. A quality that can now seem a reality TV prerequisite. <laughs> oh, good. If The Truman Show were to actually exist today, it's hard to see how its relatively benign, sedate appeal could survive. Reality TV constantly pushes for scandal and sensationalism. Cue the sign. In fact, it's only when the show's slick veneer cracks that it starts to resemble the modern genre's gladiatorial world. Yet arguably the Truman Show's greatest prescience is its depiction and growing suspicions of mass surveillance. In 2008, psychiatrists christened the condition of people believing they were living in a version of a TV show, the Truman Show Syndrome. The perfect illness for the reality television generation. But this feeling extends beyond extreme psychosis. We know that we are under more scrutiny, more often, from more sides, both legal and illegal, than at any time in human history, and more exposed than ever to external influence. You have rich people. The whole kingdom's no way. It's a chef's pal. The Truman Show's product placement advertising that doesn't interrupt its 24-7 broadcast has a parallel in the pop-up ads that have colonized our virtual worlds. There's even a shared bitter irony in these gatekeepers' hypocritical demands for their own confidentiality. We know how demanding your schedule is, and we all know how jealously you guard your privacy. Mr. Zuckerberg, would you be comfortable sharing with us the name of the hotel you stayed in last night? Um... <laughs> uh... No! Christoph and Mark Zuckerberg's big brother-like ideologies may synchronize, Where are you going? but our society's voyeuristic and data harvesting potential makes The Truman Show look as sophisticated as a Victorian peep show. The program's classical model of centralized, top-down production is no longer the only game in town. It's not even the main player. Then who am I? You're the star. The internet has, among other things, democratized and magnified the reality TV impulse. <laughs> What's up? Today I'm gonna fill my bathtub with snakes. I don't. I, honestly, I don't know why I'm here. 
Okay. This technology, what NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden has called the most important invention in all of human history, allows individuals to now effectively become their own studio and star, and bypass television altogether. Came up in Ohio, wasn't much to do. Then we found this place called YouTube. We made our dreams come true. Work hard and you can too. Reality TV and now internet stars are, in one respect, the opposite of Truman. Entirely aware of and playing to the camera. But in another way, they embody the same dilemma at the heart of the film. Trumania. The collapse of the distinction between public and private life and the performative nature it instills. Well, for me, there is no, there is no difference between a private life and a public life. My, my life is my life, is the Truman Show. Truman and the movie's ultimate line of resistance is... I never had a camera in my head. But reality TV's cultural dominance... Man, 10 years of my life on YouTube. Allied to the internet's invasive profiling, all while, incidentally, we regularly choose to reveal highly personal information online, means that it scarcely matters anymore. Go to him. We're vulnerable targets, complicit voyeurs, and yet we still have the unprecedented ability to create and project the idea of ourselves that we want to be seen, regardless of its truth. <laughs> You're fired. I was wondering what you would say to President Obama. You're fired. Those savvy or ruthless enough to harness this can succeed beyond their wildest dreams and wield genuine socio-economic power. I, Donald John Trump. For in the 24-7 live feeds that surround us, how do we tell the mediated, constructed image from the original? My name's Donald Trump, and I'm the largest real estate developer in New York. And when you dig into the track record on any of these things, it turns out the emperor really has no clothes. What is fact and what is fake news? We had a massive field of people. You saw that. Pat. How big the crowds were at his inauguration. We've gone from the real to the surreal to the unreal. Do we switch off or can we not afford to miss the show? Everybody's saying I should run for president. Let me ask you a question. Meatloaf, should I run for president? Absolutely. To paraphrase Christoph, do we accept the unreality of the world with which we are presented? And if not, where do we go from here? <laughs> <laughs>